Have you ever heard of dirt track racing? Well, now you're about to. Dirt track racing originally came about in the 1930s. Men called bootleggers, who were moonshiners, souped up their engines to outrun cops. Well, they all got together and started racing each other and drifting on dirt roads. And later on, a guy named Bill France, he was the first to originate this amazing sport. The original dirt track cars were called Pony Stocks, Cyclones, Street Stocks, Limited, Sports Mod, Modifieds, and 305 Sprint. In the modern racing world, the cars are now called Dwarf, Sprint, Open Wheel, Late Model, which is like what Jonathan Davenport drives. He's a professional racer in the Lucas Oil series. And also stock cars. Stock cars can be made from El Caminos and Camaros. Sprint cars are the fastest, reaching over 140 miles per hour. Tracks from the US are about one third a mile, mile long. Dirt tracks are oval in shape and racing is performed on dirt or clay surfaces. Magnolia Speedway, the local track in Columbus, uh, is considered a gumbo surface which is they got mud out of a river bottom and that's what the surface is. And dirt truck racing is one of the most exciting forms of auto automobile racing. There are multiple events going on on race day and, mul and multiple races. There are many stages to race. These include hot laps, warm ups, qualifying, heat races, B mains, A main, which is a feature and sometimes they have special events. The Wall Street Journal covered an article that stated the ra that racing is cheap and family-friended outlet. Also, that racing is totally the best way to spend Saturday night in the USA. The main way to get money with dirt track racing is sponsors. Without sponsors paying so much for the decals on the car, people and teams wouldn't be able to go to the racetrack every day and entertain the fans. Drivers must wear a fire suit, a helmet like this one, and neck harness, and a five-point seatbelt harness that straps over both shoulders and around the waist and between the legs. Drivers must wear earpieces ear called transponders so they can hear the, the head guy talk and tell people their places and what is going on. The main safety feature is the car's roll roll bar. Roll cages help to stiffen the frame of the car. They are usually either bolted in or welded in. There is a roll bar behind the driver that provides a better roll protection. Some tracks do not require a, a um, head and neck restraint or brace, but everyone should at least get one for their safety. The driver's gloves and shoes have the same effect as the fire suit. Driving a race car is not for everyone, but watching races is. I have been a run racing my entire life. Racing has been in my family for three generations. My grandfather started the racing tradition when he was only a teen. I've learned being at the racetrack is a good place to learn as much as possible and bond with family. In conclusion, dirt track racing originated in the 1930s by people trying to outrun the law. The tracks are oval, made up of three different types of dirt. The original and modern cars are different, but a little similar. There are so many different events going on on race day that you are constantly busy. And lastly, racing is a dangerous sport, but there are several safety percussions. Racing is a huge part of my life, and I absolutely love it. I hope you all have it. All will try to watch a race and experience what I love. Thank you.